Hi guys, it's Skill Jim here, and today I want to take a look at the Nokia Engage. Okay, so the Nokia Engage was released, I think, in 2003 and lasted till about 2005. This is the second version, the QD version, which um, they changed a few things to make the system slightly better. Um, previously, the last system. You had to take the battery cover off to put a game in, so it was a bit of a hassle. Whereas this has got like a DS um, a slot to just put the game straight in. And a few of the accessories I've got for the system is a, a carry case there for it. Um, that's a, an additional battery charger, so you slot a rechargeable battery in here like that, and you can charge that separately. You know, while you're using a battery that's already in the system. There's a spare SIM card I've got for the system, some spare um, headphones, which have also got a microphone, so you could, because obviously it used to be a phone that you could use to make calls, and obviously you can use that as a hands-free kit. Um, we'll have a look inside that box first, but just to quickly show you this, this is a game that was released for Nokia phones and the Engage, so that one's slightly separate from the games I'm going to show you in a second because this was released for you know not just the Nokia Engage. Okay so first let's have a look inside the box. So this is what you'd you would have got if you'd gone out and bought one back in the day. Um, this is everything that comes with the phone. So there's the the games console slash phone. We've got a power adapter to charge the internal battery. Well, the, the, the battery um, you can replace, like I showed you earlier, with the they're all rechargeable batteries that you can take out, but at the moment, um, if you've got it inside the system, you can just plug that um, the charger into the system and charge the battery while it's in there. Um, got some more headphones there. I've got another battery. Uh, let's have a look at some of the pamphlets that you get. So this first one is a bit of an advertisement for all the games that have been released so far up until this point. It says volume 1 on the front there, I'm not quite sure if they ever did a volume 2 version of this book. Just to, just to show you that one, if I can get the book to stay open. Virtua Cop, it was never actually released. Um, I think the system probably they stopped making games for the system just as this was ready to launch but you can in fact find promo copies of this game that they sent out to like reviewers and um, people like that and you, I think you can also download this game that people have uploaded to the internet so uh, some of the other stuff in. just information on most of the games there to be fair I'm not quite sure what games were released since this book was made because there's only 55 games in total that you can go out your way and buy which we'll have a look at in a second so the other things you get you get a, I'm assuming this is a CD-ROM or a DVD a CD-ROM, yeah so it looks like again it's just got Maybe like a digital user's guide there, it says user guide, I'm not sure what the software would be. Um, maybe just information on the games, rather than actually being able to play or use them. Because how would that work on a PC? Um, some little pamphlet here about Nokia. And then you've got the actual physical manual. Which details how to use everything. Because obviously Back in the day, half of it would have been an actual fully functioning phone. So that's why there's information on how to make calls and set it all up and stuff. So here's the actual system itself. As you can see, it's quite small. I was surprised how small it was. Um, I was expecting a bit more of a Nintendo DS sort of size. But obviously this was a phone back in the day, so you, you've got your rear piece there. Um, Quite sure where the microphone is, but um, it's 
quite a nice looking system. There's your D-pad. That's the OK button. Menu button. And then it'll, it'll say like um, cancel or select or whatever and you've got your two buttons down there. That would have been made, making a call, hanging up the call. And then just your general numbers for dialing numbers and these two that are slightly crystallized are like your A and B button. If you think of like a DS controller or you know another handheld sort of system. It's like a cancel button, I'm not quite sure on the pencil. It's been a while since I used the, an old style phone. I mean uh, gone are the days where you'd need to lock the keypad by pressing what was it? It was something like the hash or the other star and something. I think I was reading in the book, I think it's like that and then that to lock the actual keypad. <laughs> yeah, nice looking system. There's the back for you there. Inside here is where you um, insert your game or memory card. And on the top is where you insert headphones and the power cable I showed you earlier. So let's now have a quick look at the games that were available for the system. For Ashen, and any game that you see that has this tag on the side here, only on Engage, I'm pretty sure that's as true as, you know, Nokia's word there. You've got Nokia's word that you can only ever play Ashen on the actual system, unless you use an emulator of course. Asphalt Urban GT Asphalt 2 I'll just quickly go through these Atari Masterpieces Volume 1 I'm not sure if you can see any of the screenshots on the back but I'll do it just in case you can You've got a good eyesight. Pause the video if you want to see what games were on those Atari games. Uh, Bomberman. Catan. Capcom game. Cool. Call of Duty. The original. Civilization. Like I say, they only ever released 55 games worldwide for the console. I'm going to show you all of them. So that's Colin McRae Rally 2005. Crash Nitro Racing. Nitro Kart, sorry. And you got the FIFA games. FIFA Football 2004. Tino Henry on the front there, Ronaldinho. Mm. The following year, FIFA Football 2005. What's this one? Glim Glimmerati. Again, there's that uh, only on Engage logo. Warhammer for 40,000 Glory and Death. I tried to put these in alphabetical order. I've gone with the G rather because you can't really. The font's so small there. All you see is Glory of the Death. So I put that in the G's. <laughs> um, High Siege. And uh, it's another interesting thing. It says one to four players there. You can actually play some of these games over the internet. There is. Um, on the menu of the Nokia Engage system, you'll see a thing called Nokia Arena or Engage Arena, and that's where you would have connected with other players. I think those servers are long gone though. Uh, Marcel Desai Pro Soccer, that's how you pronounce his name. Mile High Pinball. I think the system has got Bluetooth, so I'm not sure if you can still 
do some sort of system link to play one to two players or you know, more. Um, baseball game, what was that? MLB Slam, MotoGP. Quite a good selection of uh, different genres of games for this system. NCAA Football 2004, which I'm told this was only released in America. This is called One, even though it took me a while to read it. See, there's the O, there's the M, there's the E. Looks like a fighting game. Operation Shadow. Getting onto the P's, Pandemonium. Remember this being released on the Sega Saturn. I think I played a demo for the Sega Saturn actually and I really enjoyed it so I'm looking forward to playing that one. Pathway to Glory. And we've got, I'm assuming this is the sequel, Pathway to Glory, Yakuza Islands. Pocket Kingdom. You notice, um, Quite a few different publishers develop games for the system. You've got Sega. Sega made quite a few. It's always nice to see as I'm a big Sega fan. Here's another one. Puyo Pop. Puyo Puyo. If anyone's ever played uh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, it's a similar game to that. Puzzle Bobble. Another classic. Love the Puzzle Bobble games. We've got Rayman 3. You can see there's some decent graphics on the system. Nice colours. It's actual um, Rayman 3 was a 3D game, wasn't it? But that's so that's the 2D version of it, so it's pretty cool. Red faction. Keeps on focusing. There you go. Requiem of Hal. Got me uh, iPhone light on here. So <laughs> Sorry if there's a little bit of dazzling reflection. Rift's Promise of Power. Sega Rally. Which I think was only released in Australia. And I'm pretty sure this is the most uh, uncommon game for the system because of that. So prices of this game are quite high. So if you ever see that out in the open anywhere, pick it up. <laughs> I doubt you will though. Unless you live in Australia maybe. Uh, Sims busting out. Sonic M, which is Sonic Advance if you ever played that. I'm pretty sure it's the same game. They just renamed it to Sonic M. Um, Spider Man 2. SSX Out of Bounds. Super Monkey Ball. Uh, System Rush. It's a bit like a wipeout game. Wipeout style. And we've got apparently an exclusive Elder Scrolls game. Which surprised me. Elder Scrolls Travels Shadow Key. There we go, got the focus on it. Looks pretty cool. Um, King of Fighters Extreme. There's Terry. That's cool. The Roots Gates of Chaos. We've got 
Tiger Woods PJ Tour 2004. Can you beat me? Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. We've got Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. Um, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Team Stealth Action. Looks like a shinobi-esque looking game there. <laughs> cool. Tomb Raider. Starring Lara, Lara Croft. Who else would star in a Tomb Raider game? Oh, is that the original? Looks like the original to me. It's pretty cool. Multiplayer. How would that work on Tomb Raider? Or is it red because it's not? I'm not sure on that. Unless it's just um, yeah, times and scores or something. Um, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Virtua Tennis. Come up to the last few games here now. Um, you've got WWE Aftershock. Or W after shock, but I think it's WWE. Can I show you the screenshot on that? Probably not. Probably not worth looking at, but there we go. Wim's World Party. Um, I'll just double check the spelling of that. So that's that. Zan Zanadu Zanadu Why do I always have to put an accent but <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we've got two X-Men games, X-Men Legends. And X-Men's Legends to Rise of Apop Apoc Apocalypse. Finally, let's have a quick look what you'll find inside a typical N-Gage box. So, just took the seal off there. Well, not the seal, they're all, none of them are actually sealed, they're just, um, I don't know if you can see, they've been carefully opened. Okay, so inside the game case you get a manual which apparently every single Engage game has a full colour manual which is pretty unheard of these days if you get a manual at all these days it won't be in colour um, there's a little safety pamphlet and then underneath there you get a case which um, if you can see it's actually open you can fit four games in a little case there like a little carry case for example three of the games inside one of those cases. There's the actual game itself, which looked quite easy, uh, hard to get out. I don't know if it's a two-handed job where you pull those apart and then pull the, the game out. So yeah. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That was the Nokia Engage. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop me a like Thank you very much. Take care.